my strong, strong friends, and welcome to video number two of the Strong Man series with my BFF, Sarah Lifts, Sarah.Lifts on Instagram. Make sure you go check her out. She's competing at NAS Nationals? USS first. USS Nationals. She's qualified for multiple nationals uh, for strongman. So she, in the sun. <laughs> yeah, it's like super bright and shady, shady bright. Shady bright, holla at you, Max Tuning. Um, so yeah, we're gonna, uh, last video we went over the log clean and press. Yep. Today we're doing stones. So come join us and learn all the things about stones. It's gonna be pretty cool. Stones are probably, I would say, maybe the most iconic implement in strongman training. Yeah. And like, no matter how big your stone is, you just look like a fucking badass when you're using them. Uh, City Strongman is a program at CrossFit Bell, which is where we are training today. They have all kinds of strongman stuff. So if you're ever in New York City and want to train strongman, make sure you come see Sarah. If she's still here, she's uh, moving to I Columbus, Ohio, in strongest city in the world. <laughs> and, um, but she may not be here by the time you get here, but Dom will be here. He's making shit happen and he'll teach you all the strongman things. He's definitely uh, teaching me a few things while I'm here. But there's all kinds of goodies. Uh, Sarah, I'm gonna start with the smallest Atlas stone there is. And, but yeah, this goes from, what's the smallest size? 35? And then, what will I what will I be training with at the end of the session? You'll probably make it up to 275, our largest stone currently. <laughs> so if you're super, super strong, they're getting a 300 pound stone made. Make sure, you know, if Dom doesn't have it by then, then you have to be like, look, the 275 is too light for me. Uh, so if you do that, I will be impressed. If I bring someone strong enough to lift the 275 pound stone to where we definitely need the 300, I'm sure Dom will make that happen for you. Um, so what do we have here? You're gonna start out with the 65. Which so there's three different ways you can compete with stones, right? I don't wanna start with the 65. Are you embarrassed to start with a smaller stone, Sarah? It's honestly harder to like yeah, lift a smaller stone. Well, so yeah. the smaller stones, you leave enough room for her arms to fit comfortably between her ankle bones. From there, with perfectly straight arms, she's squeezing that stone fingertip to fingertip. She's setting through, rooting through her hips, through her heels, ready to go out. She's going to hug it up. Very similar to what you saw in that, that initial pull on the log in the last video. Perfectly straight here, we're driving through. So again, one more time, she goes to the lap. She gets into that lap position. She's gonna do her best to expand her wingspan as much as she's got right around that stone. It's super, super hard. Everything she's got in the back here is all the way wrapped around the stone. She's hugging it as tight as you can, just like the log she got here. She's on this stone, they're ready to go. She's gonna drop from there. That's the first stage of getting that, that stone to lap. Now it just depends on what you're doing with it. If you're going to a platform versus uh, your shoulder, you can set up a little bit differently. Typically, when you're going to your shoulder, you wanna maintain that super hug, the chin on the stone as tight as you possibly can. Because essentially, when her next movie you'll watch now, she'll get to her lap again. She's gonna give herself a little bit of real estate here by picking up those hips and now firing through to her shoulder. Beautiful. Right? When nice. she does that and loads up that, by pulling in and hugging that stone super tight, she doesn't allow it to creep down on her at all, which means she doesn't have all that distance to make up for in the movement. She can get a little, she can get a little wax from her chin on the stone now, and she's gonna pop off the stern, especially good. Sarah, how tall are you? I'm about 5'9". I've suggested strongman to people who have said, I, know, I don't think anyone's too tall for powerlifting, but if you're a tall, strong person, this is where you can live in strongman. I think they definitely have an advantage with implements like what Sarah's doing right now. Some shorter women have to, um, I guess, shoulder stones so that they can get it on the platform. So if you're a tall, strong person, you're like, I can't power lift because my femurs, one, I think that's a bad excuse for you to not try power lifting, <laughs> but you can still participate in strength sports and maybe strongman is something that you want to think about. Maybe you can compare the difference between me trying to get a stone up there. <laughs> maybe I'll start with a 35 pound stone uh, and see how, how the difference are, is with Sarah lapping it and then putting it on the platform. So now I want my feet to be. Gotta get around that stone. More. So walk a little bit forward. Good. Squeeze that stone together. Now obviously change your big diameter. Oh yeah. <laughs> you know, if I just let it fall down? Yeah, you can just let it fall down. You want to think about it more like an RDL than like a squat. Okay. You so you dropped your hips. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. You need to be. 
squat a little bit lower than the rest here. This should be a rest position oh. for you to get comfortable, right? Like a nice. Right here. You want to reach out super, super big and hug that stone? Good, that's it. Up and fire through. Yeah, you're a little far from this. Yeah, maybe I want to get a little closer. Yeah. 65 pound stone, just so you guys know. Nice. Yeah, you can do 95. Oh. You can do it. Now, do I want, so on that list stone, there's this part. This is like kind of a flat edge. Yep. Does it matter where that is with my you lift? You need to learn how to pick up a stone from anywhere. <laughs> from anywhere, because I'm going to be like. Back from you from a quick blow, you yeah. Pick it up, so. I can't be like, hold on, stop the clock. <laughs> That's it, now it gets some feedback. Okay. Up tight. Nice. Yes. One more. This is fun. This is better. I like this more than the log. <laughs> if you haven't seen our last video on the log press, make sure you go check it out. Not as badass as this, but. Nice. Yes. <laughs> I am smart or like something that's <laughs> cool to say. Ever like PR one rep for stones? Um. Not, not in the same way. If you're gonna go heavy on a stone in competition, it's part of a stone medley. So like your last stone might be technically a PR. Okay. You don't just go for like a one rep, but you'll do each stone for one rep, like working your way up in weight. Yeah. Um, so like my best ever is a 210 stone. To That's like a, heavy, dude. It is heavy, but also tacky helps like. Yeah. <laughs> so Explain what tacky is. I don't even know what it is. It's like, it's just super sticky and you smear it all over your forearms. Um, and generally you tape up your arms first because otherwise that would be a like. Bitch to get off. Yeah. It's like um, it's like wax when you go get a yeah, Brazilian or something. And so like when the, when the stones get heavier, it's hard for you to really squeeze the stone enough to pick it up off the floor. Like you mm -hmm. might have the leg strength and the back strength to get it up, but you don't have the grip strength. And it's beyond like hand grip. Having the tacky on your forearms helps stones stick, stick it. Yeah. So you can actually get it up. Cool. So we don't really train with tacky here ever. Um, Cause you kind of ruin the stone, right? Yeah, it gets all over the stone and it gets gross. If you train without tacky, then like when you have tacky, it's gonna feel so much lighter. Yeah. So, when you were at your strongman, were people like, yeah, here, use my tacky and I'll, let me tape up your arms? Because people at strongman events are like super, super nice. Yeah, no, everyone's tacky was just like laid out. People were using like other people's tacky. Cool. Everyone was helping each other. That's the cool thing about strongman. It's like, you go in, you don't, I didn't know anyone at my competition. And by the end, I had made like so many friends. That sounds so cheesy, but it's- But like, that's how it is. Truth. Yeah. I'm a little bit prissy with this. I always put it with the like rough part down. Oh, see? <laughs> scratched up everywhere. Whoa. Um, so generally I, I tape my arms um, just for training so that I don't end up with all these scars that I already have. Could you just train in like long sleeves and pants? You could. The material probably wouldn't be as good. Grippy. As bare skin. For yeah. Training. So now Sarah's gonna show us how to like lap and shoulder a stone. Um, this could be good for someone who doesn't have any of the implements, like if you don't have a yoke to carry over, or you could do this at your own gym with a heavier med ball. When you have a lighter stone, instead of lapping it and then bringing it up to your shoulder, you can kind of do it in one movement. But that means that when you start, your forearms are gonna be a little bit more of like in a hugged position as opposed to like straight, straight arm. Yeah. So that you can Whoa, cool. do it in one smooth motion. As they get heavier, what you want to do is just like with a normal stone to a platform, straight arm, bring it up to your lap, reposition, and then use the hips to fire it up. Cool. You don't want to use your arms. Some people try to like use their arms to get up to their shoulders. Yeah. But that's bad. You can get hurt that way, but it's not efficient. So, Dom actually has a trick that I'd like to show. We set a fixed angle on our bicep. In that fixed angle position, that's we don't want to move or pull at all. So we shouldn't see any flexion here. If you ever learn a tire flip, or if you come back in the future for a tire flip session, oh yeah, you are in the same situation where you have that fixed arm. You don't want to pull that at all. Except very similar to stones, we come down instead of having those pinch straight arms. We're going to think about putting those pinkies to each other. Get as much contact as we can with our forearms from here. Let's clear those hips a touch to get a little bit of momentum. We're rolling this down off our belly. Pull to our shoulder here. Trick tires to the back. 
try to put a little zip on it so that you really think you don't need to use those those hands at all when you're reloading. So from here, it went up. Whoa! Make sure that we're not using those. <laughs> Don't try this at home. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so that's gonna be the end of our second video in the ins the Sarah Lifts slash Strongman series. Uh, uh, series. <laughs> Make sure you guys let me know if you like this video. We do have one more coming for you. What's the next movement that we're gonna feature? Farmer's carry. Farmer's carry. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Make sure you keep an eye out for the next one coming soon. All right, I love you guys. Bye. Bye.